boys underdog here and i am indeed back in the building in today's review we're going to be checking the thunder fours 100 transparency though this is a gs pair but i think we can have a good idea of what to expect on the men's pairs or if you find yourself going for a gs size now you know exactly what to expect without further ado let's dive right into this review let's go all right thunder fours you got a gs box here i was surprised to see that it looks more like a men's box you have flight written at the top here it's kind of speckled black all over box for the most part here here's a size tag for y'all like i said it is a gs pair so it's gonna obviously say air jordan 4 retro gs this is a size 6 y which i believe is the equivalent to a seven in women's or seven and a half so decent looking box for it being a gs pair let's pop open the box and check out the shoes yellow lid up top speckled paper and voila here they are all right right off the bat materials feel pretty decent overall the shoe looks somewhat decently constructed you can see there's a little scuff here in the back a decent amount of glue stains to be honest now again this is a gs pair so i don't know if there's any indication of how the men's pairs are going to turn out but they are your standard jordan qc tactics and materials some more glue stains here Let's check out the other shoe here some scuffs is it anything that's going to stop people from buying the shoes probably not but just wanted to point out so y'all know what to expect but like i said materials do feel somewhat decent i think this is like a new buck the black new buck here feels pretty pretty soft hopefully that carries over well to the men's pair the outsole is your jordan 4 outsole you got hits of yellow here white jump man on this gs pair which i'm sure is going to be the same as the men's classic air unit in the back the midsole is primarily black but you do get hits of yellow as well like i mentioned the upper is a black suede or new buck yellow behind the netting here and just above the toe box you got yellow eye stays as well jump man in the back no nike air so y'all know the people aren't going to go too crazy Jump man with flight on the tongue. And then of course, that's always classic. You got Air Jordan on the back of the tongue. I don't know if anybody actually rocks their fours like this, but a cool little touch. Does all the tricks that you can do with the fours, you know, all that fun stuff. Here's the insole in case you were curious. Very, very sticky. And there you have the Thunder fours, at least in GS form. Hopefully the good carries over to the men's pairs and the bad stays on, well, that sounds kind of bogus, but it stays on the GS pairs. Honestly though, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but A to each their own. I get it, they're clean. They're a classic in a sense, but I'm just not the biggest four guy. I know it's kind of blasphemy. I'm sure these will sell out and have a somewhat decent resell. Hopefully it's not too bad if you are looking to cop these. They are coming out in May. If you didn't hit on the shock drop, don't turn to resell prices yet. Give yourself a chance. I believe these are a pretty massive GR, so stock numbers should be pretty high. But yeah, I would definitely roll the dice and wait for May before you pay resell for these. If you do take an L on the on the more global release, you know, hopefully the resell prices aren't too bad. I know right now they really aren't anything crazy. So I, if you gotta have this pair in the collection, at least, it won't hurt the wallet too much. But yeah, guys, Thunder 4s, not too shabby, but not my thing personally. But hey, drop in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. If you're going to go for these, let me know. Let me know, let me know. Let's go. Thank you for checking out my review of the Thunder 4s. I hope you got all the information you needed after watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to be going for this drop? I think the wide release is May 13th. I believe, don't quote me on that. But let me know, should be a pretty massive GR, so hopefully you get the pair that you need. While you're down there, maybe like the video, subscribe to Underdog Nation. We're on the road to 450 subs. We're getting super close. Baby steps, one step at a time. Of course, more content is on the way. But until next video, peace.